So we picked up the Model Y yesterday from the repair shop. They did a really good job of making it shine. We'll go over here and just look. So you don't see the dent anymore at all, which is, you know, the concern. Um, they told me, I'm just trying to inspect closely here, just to see, that it was definitely so when I installed my satellite radio, there was a larger gap between here that I was able to shove the wire into, and there's not that gap anymore. So they definitely did take the glass out. Now they told me that they had to repaint the entire side of the car because apparently there's no natural line that they could stop the paint. I don't understand where they went to he said he painted the whole side so does that mean you painted the bumper and the hood or were those left alone i don't know the hood see the hood's at a different angle so it's kind of hard to see the reflection it does sort of look a little different here than there but that's just from the reflection the color looks exactly the same so it's hard to say if they actually did repaint the whole thing. The mirror was broke. But that's fixed now. Assuming they painted the mirror. So let's get to the part where I'm not so sure about this. They told me they had to remove this top glass and the windshield and that these are pieces that are not salvageable. Once you take it out, it's more likely to break, so they charge you to replace the glass. And I'm like, oh, okay, so if you're able to save the glass and not break it, you won't charge me for it, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. What are those? Well, that's my stickers that I had. Now, a toll pass is pretty easy to remove and put back on a new glass. I get that. It's very possible that if the glass were replaced, they put that toll pass there. Well, what is that? That is my car wash subscription. I don't know. I'm not, not feeling like that was moved. I mean, those stickers are extremely sticky. They are meant to self-destruct. And here's one that's untouched, obviously. They're meant to self-destruct <clears throat> if you try to peel them off. And that they do, because I tried to peel it off of my truck before I sold it. Let's see here. I'm trying to find it. Okay, a little bit of blurry. Something I've noticed about this new phone, it won't focus straight on the point that I want it to focus on. Let's try to bring it up here. There we go. A little better. Nope. I don't know. I, I'm no expert here, but uh, I get the feeling that that was not replaced. I don't know if I get an update. How do you do this? I don't know. Oh, we got music. Okay, let's turn it off. <laughs> so, I'm no expert here. I don't know. Um, I don't know if they actually did replace the windshield or not. I feel like they didn't. And, um, I mean, if you really look at it, let's try to focus here. I mean, it's got, I guess it does have some bubbles under it, which I don't know if that's normal or not. Maybe it was peeled. I'm not sure. I question it though. I definitely do. You know, they billed me for a, a windshield and they said, oh yeah, we moved those over. And I'm thinking, you moved it over. That's, in my experience, even trying to remove it, it's very, very sticky. It leaves a huge residue under where the, the sticker was. 
and that little metal part in the center will detach on purpose because that's what it's meant to do. It's meant to break so that you can't run it through the car wash. Now, I can't go test to see if that even works right now because they said not to wash it for two weeks because, you know, fresh paint. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just find out in two weeks. So, it's amazing to me. I just wanna point out, this car is over a year old. Has went to Maine and back. And that's a bug. These are all, all just dirt. I have no rock chips at all. All this dirt, 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 dirt. No rock chips. Nothing on the hood. What's this? Dirt. 20, I think it's like 26,000 miles. I took it to Maine and back. Um, it's been, it's been everywhere, man. <laughs> and this one, that's a rock chip. Let's try to zoom in on that. Rock chip. Um, multiple, multiple rock chips all over. Uh, I know I've got at least three. I just have to find them. It's a lot of dirt in addition to. That's, um, it's crazy. What's this? Rock chip. There's one. That's dirt. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 8,000 miles. Not taken anywhere unreasonable. I mean, Tennessee a couple times, and that's about it. Uh, went to the Outer Banks in it. Um, 26,000 miles everywhere, including Maine, which, I mean, you know, if you've ever driven through New Jersey, New York, roads aren't great up there. <laughs> And I fully expected to have paint chips galore when I got there. Something about the red, I guess it's just a better quality paint. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about that uh, sticker. Do you think it was moved? I mean, it does have some bubbles now that I investigate it here. But um, I was under the impression that they had billed me for something that they didn't do. And I wasn't happy about that. So, a new, a new window is like a couple of grand. So... If the window wasn't replaced, and we were gonna, <clears throat> we were gonna take and just scratch it somewhere, like right here or something, both of them, just to see if if the scratch was still there when we picked it up. But I didn't do it because I'm like, ah, you know, they're they're highly rated by Tesla. They're recommended, you know, they they're a legitimate business. Insurance fraud's not a joke, you know. They're not gonna do that and risk losing their business over it, but. I highly doubt that was moved. I have my doubts. Bonus video. Um, when I traded my other Tesla for this one, my Model Y Long Range, a lot of people asked me, did I regret trading the car? And I did it first, but um, there were only a few things that I didn't like about this one that um, I completely fixed now. These tires were one of them. These are. Michelin Pilot Sport 4 all season. It came with summer tires and I did not like summer tires. I ran them through the winter just because I was trying to, you know, wear them down good enough to get new ones. But now we've got good tires and this car will go. Uh, and then the other thing I actually didn't hate, but my other car had the old console and this one's got a glare. This one has the new console and I really like the new console better. So, didn't hate that. Um, my other car had radar, and this one does not. And that was my huge, huge issue. But they've now disabled radar on all cars, so they're all the same now. So I don't regret it at all. Um, we'll see how this paint holds up. You know, they just repaired it, but um, they did say that they warranty their work for a lifetime. So if something starts to peel here, I'm just going to take it back to them. So um hopefully it's a good car and it lasts because i think we're going to keep it a while i mean considering the price that i paid versus what they cost now it's uh it's kind of a good deal so and it's quick 
The plaid, I like the plaid. I daily drive it, it is my everyday car, but I um, hate to say it when Rivian calls, they're gonna get them a nice new plaid in exchange for an R1T. So, yep.